Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel for another video today. Today's video is going to be a very large back to school shopping haul. Um, my kids start back to school next week, the middle of next week, so we definitely need to get some shopping done. I had bought a lot of the school supplies at the dollar store, which if you've not seen that video, I will link it below. But there was still a few things obviously that I needed to grab from Walmart as well as some stuff that, I mean, obviously like some clothing, stuff like that, shoes that I hadn't picked up yet. So I'm going to go ahead and show you everything that we got. We went to Old Navy, Marshall's, Walmart, the dollar store, shoe department, all kind of places. We, we, we did some shopping today. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what we got. So I'm just going to grab the first thing I see, which are these Puma shoes. Kylie picked these. They were from the shoe department and they were $50, $51.99. They didn't have any deals going on unless you spent over $75 and Bryson didn't find a pair of shoes. We actually didn't get him any shoes yet because he didn't find any that he liked. So I guess we'll have to order some offline or try a different store, but Kylie picked these really pretty rainbow Pumas. It's like a tie dye rainbow Puma, which I just love. I think these are so her and my kids wear uniforms to school, which you'll see in a minute. I bought some uniform stuff, but so when it comes to their shoes, I really like to let them sort of express their themselves and their creativity since they don't get to do that through their clothing. So I let her pick whichever shoes she wanted and she picked these super fun, colorful shoes. I feel like kids, like I like that my school is a uniform school, um, but I feel like kids should be able to express their creativity and their personalities like somehow. So I try to let them do that in any way that I can. The next bag that I see is Marshall's. So this first thing is actually a little uniform dress see it has like the little attached pleated skirt and then the white collared top this is by the brand french toast i got it in a size 10 12 just so kylie usually wears like an eight but i wanted her to be able to wear it like this fall and maybe next spring as well and i didn't want it to be too like constricting or tight and short of course i did not want it to be short so this dress was only 7.99 so i was pretty happy with that find and then also at Marshall's oh there's two bags let's say I got more um I did find some really cute shoes for Finley and this I think is the only thing that I bought Finley I'm gonna have to do like a fall clothing haul for her separately but um I found her these really cute Nautica tennis shoes so the top velcro part is glittery if you can see that I don't know there you go and it is, like I said, a Velcro, which I like in infants' shoes because it makes them much easier to get on. These were only $20, and it says they're the comfort cushion, so I'm very excited. She, I've been noticing lately that all of her shoes have been too tight. She wears, like, all the shoes that I bought for her for the summertime were a three or three and a half, and these are a six, so her feet really grew i think they're a little bit big but i wanted her to be able to wear them of course longer but yeah her feet did some growing this summer and then the other thing that i picked up or the other few things i let all each kid just pick something fun bryson picked this um jordan t-shirt and it is by the jordan brand and it was 9.99 so that is a pretty good deal for that and then Kylie picked this little outfit set because hers were cheaper than his one shirt. So each of these sets were $5.99. So it's this little skirt with, I'm pretty sure it has shorts. Yep, has shorts inside it. Obviously she can't wear this to school. It'll be like a weekend thing, but it's this little like sport shirt thing. And then this really cute top the girl she has her i guess that's an i no that's a book and her book bag and a water bottle and her cat sitting there with her this is so kylie the girl the girl's got blonde hair like kylie so this cute little outfit she bought for herself 
And then the last thing that I found at Marshall's were these uniform pants. These are the Children's Place brand, and they were only $5.99. So these would be for Kylie. I got these in a size 10, which is more her size, and these don't seem to have a whole lot of stretch to them, so hopefully they work. She tends to be a kid that really wants stretch. She doesn't want anything being confining, especially when she is at school. Okay, let's go ahead and do the Walmart stuff next. Go ahead and grab it all over here. So this is not for school, but I needed some Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. I'm going to be painting all of our walls soon. Um, let me know if you guys want to see like that. I, I, we're going to paint all of them, which is going to be a lot, but I want to clean them up before I do so. And I completely ran out of Magic Erasers. Kylie needed headphones for school, so I got her the groove on. So since she's in first grade, she can't have... Um, earbuds. I don't think they're allowed to have earbuds at their school till fourth. It might be third, third or fourth grade. So she still had to have regular headphones, but Bryson was able to have earbuds. He will be in fifth grade. So I actually got him the same brand Groove On wireless earphones. So we'll have to charge them, but it says that when they're fully charged, they get seven hours of playtime, has a built-in microphone and tangle free flat cord. And it fully charges in two hours, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and it's waterproof, so these are pretty cool. Um, both of these actually, like these ones and these ones were both $10, so not a bad deal for headphones. Finley just needed a cup, so I grabbed her the Munchkin sippy cup. I needed toilet bowl cleaner, so again, not too interesting. And then Bryson did need a thing of colored pencils. His teacher didn't ask for crayons or anything like that this year. He just needed pencils. I guess he's too old for, for crayons. Okay. Bryson's getting into like the big kid supplies lately. So he needed a five subject notebook, which he's super intimidated by. So I got him this one by five star. I believe this was like $5. He also needed a pencil pouch that could be put in a binder. So he just picked this. This actually was the only one that Walmart had and they had it in black or in pink. Like literally they, they, our Walmart was sold out of like pencil cases and stuff. So we're actually really lucky that we came across this one. And then he also needed some loose leaf paper. So I grabbed three of those. She didn't specify a number. So I just kind of grabbed a few. And then he needed a graph composition notebook so it's all graph paper inside which he is really really intimidated by like he and graphing was my favorite thing to do in school but anyway he's a little intimidated I let Kylie pick out um, a pencil box for herself because hers really didn't have any limits it was just that she needed a pencil box and she picked this really fun koala one from Walmart so it has like a um, flip up lid and it's just a like tin metal case in there this was only six dollars it's by the brand find it which i've never actually heard of before interesting yep find it so i'm sure she will enjoy that and then the last thing that i picked up at walmart is just some tissue box tissues which really isn't very interesting these are the puffs ultra soft each kid needed one of those we went to the dollar store but we literally just bought candy I probably don't even need to show you that. I thought I got something for school, but apparently not. There are runs in here, Kool-Aid gum, and gummy worms. <laughs> the kids went in with Chris when I was checking out at Old Navy because Finley was being psycho. So he took the kids in the dollar store and I guess he bought them candy. So anyway, okay, now on to Old Navy. So I had a really good deal at Old Navy. Um, we have an Old Navy credit card and they were doing a thing where you got like $30 off if you spent $100. Um, so I did that. And then I also had $10 in reward money. So I got, let's see here. So my total before they took off the um, like sales was $114. And I ended up paying $72.01. So pretty excited about that. Let's go ahead and look at what we got. This is mostly uniform stuff just because my kids do have to wear uniforms. So this one is Kylie's. It's just this red polo. You can tell the girls from the boys because the girls have polka dots in them. So I got her a red one, a blue one, 
and a, I think I got her four, a white one and then a red one again. And these ones were only, I, I want to say they were $4.99 for the shirts. They had a good selection of shirts, but I was really disappointed in their like bottoms selection. And the guy at Old Navy said that they weren't even going to be getting any more in, that that all even oldnavy.com didn't have a lot of things. So I was a little disappointed in that. But I did grab her these little shorts. So I think you can roll them up if you want to, but since she's gonna be at school, they're like a knit stretch. I bought these in a size 10 and they were $24.99, but I'm pretty sure they were on sale. That's like what the sticker price says, but I'm pretty sure they were on sale for $14.99. And then I got Bryson some shirts as well. I guess I only grabbed him too, which seems a little bit funny. Oh, so I couldn't find a red shirt for Bryson. They didn't have one in an extra large. He needs an extra large purely for the length. Like he's so tall that the larges are starting to like ride up. Same thing with pants. Like finding shorts for him is really difficult. Does anybody have a tall boy? He is almost like he's over five feet well over five feet he's probably like five three five four and he's only ten so i have trouble finding him like he's skinny so pant size he's like a 10 maybe a 12 but then length he probably needs like a 16. so i don't know does anybody have a tall skinny boy and have figured out how to clothe them because it's literally been a struggle his whole life but anyway I got him an extra large in the white and see he his does not have the polka dots on the collar and then I also got an extra large for him in the blue and his were $4.99 as well Kylie needed some socks for school so she picked out these really fun ones that have peace signs that one's like rainbow and then there are like these purple filled ones there's a green one and then just a couple solid pairs Oh, so this one actually has a peace sign up there. Can you see that right there on the thing? Bryson, I grabbed a few pairs of pants. Now, when I grabbed these pants, I didn't realize how, the, how expensive they were. These are the Karate Slim Built-In Flex Max for boys. So they're like a heavier, nicer khaki pant, I would say. These I bought in a 12. I'm hoping they're long enough. Um, because like if you get a 14 for him, they're going to fall off him. Even if you tighten them with the little like tightening buttons, they're still going to like, you're not going to be able to tighten them enough to where they will stay up because he's so skinny. So I held them up to him and they looked long enough. I don't know. We'll, we'll try them on him for sure to see, but these were $29.99 and that's a lot. I didn't realize how much I was paying for these. So pretty much my coupon bought these, which I guess is good. I mean, if I wouldn't have had those coupons, I probably would have put these back, but I couldn't find any of the other like normal khaki uniform pants for him. Um, the only other one I found for him are these reinforced knees, built in flex, straight khaki pants, but they are blue. And these ones were $14.99. So or I, th I think they were $15.99 on sale and they actually seem to have a little bit more room in the legs and they might even be a little bit longer not entirely sure no they're exactly the same way but yeah we did i think we've got a good start to uniforms i mean kylie i got her let's see one two pairs of pants i thought i grabbed her a pair of blue pants did i maybe i didn't so i only grabbed her one two three pairs of pants and then Bryson, two pairs, and then each a few shirts. We're gonna need to obviously get some more stuff, but this will get us through the first couple weeks of school until maybe I can order some stuff. I've heard Walmart has really good uniforms. Has anybody tried that before? I think their polos are only like $4. So hopefully, fingers crossed they have something because this isn't gonna do forever. But yeah, that is what we have gotten for school. Again, if you haven't seen the Dollar Tree haul that has most of the rest of the school supplies, I will link it below. But other than that, our kids are set for school. They did not need new backpacks this year and they did not need new lunch boxes. We have a rule where we buy a nicer-ish backpack 
and then they have to use it for at least two years. So both of them are going on year two with their backpacks, so they're going to use those. And lunch boxes, we still we have a ton of them, so I didn't buy any new ones. But yeah, that is everything that we got. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that your kids have a fantastic start to their school year. I'm hoping for more normalcy this year. I know that all of us would love life to be a little bit more normal this year. Um, so let's, fingers crossed that that happens for all of us, for the kids, for the parents, for life. Anyways, I hope that you guys have a fantastic evening. I will see you guys tomorrow um, for another video. And until then, guys, have a fantastic evening. Bye.